to Oakland A's baseball. I'm Glenn Kuyper. It's going to be a busy day of baseball, and we are certainly looking forward to it. Now, remember, the trade deadline is just a couple days away. We're starting to see teams make some moves, and the A's made a move last night. They picked up a veteran second baseman from the Angels. His name is Tommy Lastella. We've seen him a lot, and he can hit. He's having another good year. He was an all-star last year. The A's to get Lastella had to trade Franklin Barreto. So let's hope for Franklin Barreto's case, he gets an opportunity with the Angels. He never really got an opportunity with the Athletics. So the A's have a new player, and there is a pretty good chance that we're going to see Lastella in the A's lineup in the second game of the doubleheader. Now, to talk more about that, let's bring in my broadcast partner, Ray Foss. And Foss, let's say real simple, Lastella right. can hit. I think he's a good addition, yeah. and I think the A's could use that extra left-handed bat in their lineup. All very well said, plus he's very versatile. He can play different infield positions, and I think that's something that is very special. But I think more than anything, the left-handed bat – because he's patient, he knows how to get on base. Remember with the Angels, he was hitting second, kind of setting the table behind David Fletcher, setting the table for the middle part of the batting order. Let's hope he can do that here, and if he can, get some hits as well, but also set the table for the middle part of the lineup. Now, Tony Kemp's going to be in the lineup for game one of the doubleheader at second base. Kemp's the guy that, quite frankly, he's going to lose some at-bats right. here, Ray, but that doesn't mean that Kemp still can't be a very effective player for the A's. You know, he's also very versatile, and what he did against the Angels got his first run batted in. That was in the last homestand. Did a great job there. But I think this is the most impressive. With the shift on, he was playing about 45 feet down the line, coming down the line. So that was a short, wild pitch. And as soon as the ball got by Chirinos, he came in to score. And I think that was huge for the Athletics taking advantage. And then the double play against the Angels, getting Rendon off second base. So very versatile, very good defender. Double header. Let's check out the starting lineup for the Oakland A's. It's brought you by Xfinity, and here it is. Simeon Grossman Piscotti, Chapman Olsen Canna, Loriano Kemp, and Murphy. That's the A starting lineup. Level. And it will be the right hander who was scheduled to start last night, and we knew something was up when he wasn't really throwing. We're in the number 42, Lance McCullers, made his major league debut against the Athletics back in 15. It's not pitched since uh, actually the 2018 in July against the Athletics, and Tommy John surgery, of course, his father. It's a big story there about his father being drafted and pitching to Major League Baseball. So Lance McCullers basically fastball, curveball, changeup. A's have seen him enough to know that. And hopefully they can get off the right foot in this first game of this uh, doubleheader. Both games, seven innings. Astros defense behind Lance McCullers will look like this. Michael Brantley, George Springer, Josh Reddick in the outfield. Jack Mayfield, Carlos Correa, Jose Altuve, and Yui Gurriel in the infield. Martin Maldonado is your catcher. Cup, I've never done a seven-inning doubleheader. Never. Well, I was just thinking, I'm glad you said seven innings because we want to remind our viewers yeah. that it's a seven-inning game. Quite frankly, I'm doing it for myself to remind myself that it's a seven-inning game. I talked to my brother about it because they had a doubleheader a couple days yeah. ago, and he said, back in there, we'll tell you about his injury. El Tuve, Brantley Gurriel, Tucker, Correa Reddick, Maldonado, and Jack Mayfield. Chris Bassett on the mound for the Athletics and pitching very well. The record of 2-1 and one on the season, sub-3 earned run average, one start against the Astros. It was that Friday night game. He gave up one run. He had a walk that scored. A walk to Maldonado, who was hitting ninth in that game. Maldonado hitting eighth, but Bassett was scheduled to start last night. But obviously, it's really everything's the same as last night. Good numbers has Grossman, Loriano, and Piscotti in the outfield. Chapman, Simeon, Kemp, and Olsen on the infield, and Sean Murphy is behind the plate. 